I think that Freya had a very interesting type of setup in the way the song has been arranged, both the melodies as well as the overall sound of the song. It uh, was very, very cool and, and quite a unique kind of style for um, the overall concept of the group. I think it was really, if, if the entire concept is about North mythology, I'd say that it's perfect to have a title song called Freya because it really embodies all of the concepts of uh, Primrose. Musically with Freya, I really felt, felt that the concept of the entire song was very good. And it's also very nice to, to see the Nordic influences in the song and the concept of the entire song, because that's sort of what we grew up to listening to here in Sweden. I really like the strong concept of the entire thing. into the entire Nordic mythology thing, I think could be very well received given that it's so unique. I actually think they will really enjoy it because we don't have really seen that in K-pop uh, and I think it's a very nice touch of doing like a collaboration between K-pop music and also like our Nordic music as well. Uh, so I really enjoyed that, that vibe. Yeah, I would definitely feel that it's, uh, uh, it has a very cool, different vibe to it, but still really feels like it's in that good pocket of being a unique song with the K-pop influence and also the, the Nordic influences to it. So it really widens the entire feeling of the genre, let's say, because K-pop isn't that genre, it's a culture. Out for Viking boyfriends. Oh, Viking boyfriends? Uh, yeah, Swedish boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will. <laughs> we will. Watch out. <laughs> Vikings. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.